It's quarter to seven on a Saturday morning and we're just awake, just. Our senses are lazy, except our eyes that meet on the same pillow, they connect. We want connection. Lazy Saturday morning, slow, deep connection. So we listen, nothing. No movement in the next room, no cartoons, no fridge door, no Cocoa Pop crunch. We kiss, she breathes and heaves, I grow and slowly move down her neck. Her scent is tangible, warm, sweet, aching, everything is switching on. And I move lower, her breathing quickens louder, deeper. She moves her body towards my kiss as I taste her. Breathe her in, she's like chocolate on my lips and what was that? We're alert like squirrels, tense, rigid, ears sharp as reeds. I think it's just claws on a scratch post. We're fine. Five seconds later, we're both naked from the waist down, and I'm lower still, underneath the covers, it's warm, she's warm, and we don't get any, any further persuasion. But we listen. Still the cat. Still the cat. We plunge beneath the duvet like divers in a cotton lagoon, and I'm moving on top of her, in her, with her, but I'm still listening and I'm feeling it. it's good. She's so good, the framework creaks loud as a mouse. So I go slower. But I want her so much, her momentum finds its voice. It whispers, it groans, it creaks, the cat scratches, and I strain to hear what I don't want to, but I'm feeling it, and it's so good. And I'm a piston now, a steam train, loud and fast. And she's with me, running, speeding towards the station, and we're almost there. Where are you doing? We're both squirrels again. Busted, but for the dignity of a duvet. I look at the panic in the face beneath me, and I'm reaching for a lie, but she's quicker. We're having a tickle fight. It's genius. It's convincing. She's good. So good, in fact, that her daughter yells, brilliant, and leaps onto the bed and onto my back, thus pushing me deeper into her mum, who shrieks in what I pray is not delight. I'm trapped in an obscene sandwich between mother and daughter. I am fortune's pervert. Her mother skillfully tickles her off my back, affording me seconds to release myself, but I'm still naked underneath and my shorts could be anywhere. The tickle fight is in full swing, so I dive back under to find my dignity. I can see my shorts, I can reach them, but I'm spotted by eight-year-old eyes, so I panic and blow raspberries into her belly. She's laughing, I'm reaching, and I'm pulling shorts on blind with one hand whilst blowing into a child's belly button. That's forever destroying the myth that men can't multitask. I'm safe now. I lure the child off the bed with Cocoa Pops. I make coffee and switch on cartoons and I look at my partner in crime. We smile, we laugh, we connect. And we check the calendar to see when the child is next with her dad. <laughs>